Cars Channel News and Review Car. Two thousand eighteen Infinity Q fifty. The Infinity Q fifty hit the market for the two thousand fourteen model year, and just two years later, Infinity refreshed it for the two thousand sixteen model year. Well, instead of ushering in a new generation, Infinity has decided to do another mild update for the two thousand eighteen model year, which includes a slightly different look outside, a revamped interior. And some new driver assistance features not previously available. Engine options include a 2.0 liter gasoline mill, a 2.2 liter turbidsol, the 3.5 liter V6, and a hybrid setup that combines a 3.5 liter V6 and a 50 kilowatt electric motor, giving the car a power output range of anywhere between 168 horsepower and 400 horsepower. The Q50 also makes use of direct adaptive steering, a feature that Infinity says is a key building block to achieving fully autonomous driving. But, what is more important, is that each trim level will have its own standalone features and styling that will help it stand out in the lineup. Roland Kruger, the president of Infinity, said, Infinity seeks to empower our customers on their journey through their experience with us, whether it is our products, our technologies, our services, or simply a passion for driving. There is no better vehicle that incorporates all the elements of the Infinity brand than the Q50 Saloon. Now that the 2018 Infinity Q5 has made its debut at the 2017 Geneva Auto Show, we have lots to talk about. So let's dive on in and take a closer look at it and how it compares to the competition. So, since Infinity decided to go with another facelift instead of a full revamp, there aren't that many changes to the exterior, but there are a few to speak of. First, the hood and headlights carry over from the current model, that's right, Infinity didn't even update the headlight units. But, the grill is actually new, even if you can't spot the difference at first. Notice how the grill surround comes to a sharp, inward point an inch or so below the top of the grill? That's new, as the current model's grill surround features a more rounded point located an inch or two lower. Down below that air dam has grown just a tad bit taller and wider. Instead of the bottom of the air dam being integrated into the front lip itself, this time, it's part of the fascia and wraps around to the inside of the corner recesses eventually turning into a stout body line that travels much higher up the fascia and divides the grille surround from the headlights. The hood and headlights carry over from the current model, that's right, Infinity didn't even update the headlight units. But, the grille is actually new, even if you can't spot the difference at first. Below the air dam sits an insert that doubles as a front lip and curves upward into the insert that defines the outer and top edges of that corner recess. As such, those recesses now sit deeper in the fascia and have a much cleaner look than before. They get the same mesh as the air dam but feature a small circular fog light that's now mounted right in the middle. The horizontal running light carries over, but is now angled slightly and sits a little higher. There are no noticeable changes to the side profile that I can notice aside from the window trim being finished in a gloss black that matches the finish of the side view mirrors. The same body lines, side skirts, and door handles all carry over. Around back, it's the same general story, but the taillights have been updated to include a more modern look, while the odd chrome trim below the license plate recess has been left in 2016. The rear fascia no longer has those small reflectors in the corners, and the rear insert that surrounds the exhaust pipes is now primarily black with a small insert in the middle that gives the appearance of a diffuser. This is likely limited to the Red Sport 400 model, so expect the same rear fascia layout on lesser models. When you consider the fact that the Q50 goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with models like the BMW 3 Series, above, and the Mercedes C-Class, Below, it's not that surprising that Infinity has been trying to keep the Q50 as fresh as possible. The Germans are a tough crowd to beat, and the design of the 3 Series proves exactly that. Nowhere near as muscular as the Q50, 
The 3 Series basically draws that perfect line in the sand and is the definition of stylistic functionality. Up front, the nose is quite aggressive with the long, geometrically sound headlights and the kidney bin grills. Down below, the fascia forms a bit of a smile with the air dam while providing enough character to keep things interesting. The hood and fenders are primarily smooth with just mild lines, but that's a blended effect that makes the 3 Series so popular. The side profile matches the smoothness and elegance of the hood with several mild lines and an overall smooth profile. It's not something that makes you say wow, but you're not going to look away as disgust either. Around back, the 3 Series takes a somewhat old-school approach. The taillights are split between the rear quarters and the deck lid, while the rear fascia is relatively smooth save for a mild line that runs the full width and the boomerang-shaped line in each corner to help define the lower fascia. The exhaust outlets are positioned toward the middle but aren't exactly considered to be centered, either. The Mercedes C-Class is currently in its fourth generation and is due for a mild facelift come 2018, but until then, the 2015 design is what's on the table. Design-wise, the C-Class falls right in the middle of the Q50 and the BMW 3 Series. Up front, it has a pronounced nose with that sexy Mercedes grille while the front fascia is all one piece and is shaped to create corner vents and the air dam that gives the car a smiling impression when looked at from the right angle. The hood is long but smooth while the side profile is dominated by two sharp and angled body lines that run opposite of each other, with the two rearmost points being closer than the fronts. The interesting thing about the C-Class, however, is the waistline that is curved upward ever so slightly in the middle, a feature that we normally don't see on smaller luxury sedans like this. Around back, things are a little more intense than on the 3 Series. The rear deck lid bubbles up at the tip to create a small lip of sorts, while the taillights sit down inside the rear quarters and have a generally rounded shape to them. Down below, the full-width body line wraps down to create a small void in each corner that serves as a tiny vent. The exhaust outlets are rectangular and are integrated into the rear fascia with a small, diffuser-like insert in between them. It's a smooth design all of the way around. All old, all three models look pretty damn good, but as far as looks go, it really depends on what you're into. If you want something more aggressive, you'll probably want to go with the updated Q50, while those that are more interested in smooth looks and functionality will find themselves more at home with the 3 Series in their driveway. The C-Class falls right in the middle and gives you just the right blend of both, something that makes it a winner in my book. Infinity is boasting the updated Q50 as a vehicle that has an enhanced level of artistry and quality to the high-tech cabin. What that really means is that Infinity didn't change too much inside. In fact, you'll notice the same door trim panels and stitching layout, infotainment monitors, instrument cluster, and even the same center console. But, Infinity did bring some new materials and a little bit of new design. The model you see here has quilted stitching on the side bolsters of the front seats. Infinity claims it has used better materials for the 2018 model, which includes leather-like material on the dash that is double-stitched. The model you see here has aluminum look trim inserts, but the wooden veneers on models that are so equipped have been treated to have a more authentic appearance and feel. The center console remains largely the same, but there is a new performance-oriented shift knob with a leather boot that has been double-stitched and is surrounded by new chrome trim. The same aluminum pedals, carry over, but Infinity has added a new steering wheel that is similar to that found in the Q60 Sports Coupe. It has a smaller central hub, airbag, and a longer, thinner lower spoke that matches the aluminum trim on the doors and center console. The side spokes have been slimmed down as well and features more modern buttons for easier access and control, a nice touch. Red Sport 400 models, like the one you see above, also features red stitching throughout to help emphasize its special place in the lineup.